What is going on everyone? Yvonne here. Now let's be real. You've probably have heard about Submagic and if you haven't, essentially it's a tool to help you maximize your short form video editing. It can do all sorts of things, all the way from adding captions to helping you with B-roll to even minimizing some of your awkward pauses. However, at times it may feel like you're just not using it to its full capacity. And that's why in this guide, we're going to cover step by step on exactly how to utilize Submagic. It's a really simple platform that can really optimize your guys' workflow and at the same time up your guys' production quality. And keep in mind that no advanced editing techniques are needed and the platform is super straightforward to use. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now before we dive into it, I am going to be sharing my screen here. So if you guys do want to follow along or even try out the platform for yourself, feel free to check out the link down below in the description. Once you guys click on that link, go ahead and press try for free. Alrighty, now once you guys are here, go ahead and input the email that you guys want to sign up with. Alrighty, now from here, all we need to do is to confirm it. Alrighty, and we're going to be ready to go. And if you guys do have some teammates that you guys want to collaborate with, you can add them right over here as well. But we'll go ahead and skip that step for now. Now. Alrighty, now in order to get started, you kind of have two options here. You can either upload your guys' own video or we can try out just with a sample one for now. To keep it simple, I'm just going to do it with the sample one so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. We're going to go ahead and click on it. And now there's going to be a couple different options here for us to use. So there's going to be the three main categories. There's going to be the trim, caption, and B-roll. Now with captions, it's pretty straightforward. No longer do you have to do it by hand every single time. You can actually do it automatically for you. And you can go ahead and select exactly what type of captions you guys want to use. Like for example, we have the Hermosi where we have the Leon, the Ollie, Mr. Beast, and it'll do it for us. So if we go ahead and play it, we can see that it's keeping that font. If I select on Ella, for example, you can see it changes it. If I go on Leon, boom, it changes it from here as well. And you guys can modify the colors as well. So you're not stuck with this default setting where, for example, for Leon, we can see that the font color is going to be white. The main color is going to be this like reddish second and third color as well. And you can also change the caption positioning and the font size accordingly. And if you want to see all the captions as they appear in front of us, go ahead and press edit here and boom. Boom, we can see every single word that this individual is saying. So for example, where he's saying you can customize, we can see that there's going to be a little emoji that's going to be shown here. And for example, if we do not want this emoji, all we got to do is just go here, delete it, and boom, it's no longer going to be there. So really straightforward. But if you guys do want to add your own emoji, all we got to do is click on here, right, add emoji, and boom, we can add whatever we want. You can also change the size and position for a specific one, as well as hide it or delete it altogether. And this correlates really well with the trim option. So if we go to trim here, we can see that these are going to be all the words that have been said in the video and from here we can remove bad silences remove bad takes but that does come with a professional plan however for certain parts where he's saying hey nice to meet you my name is david for example let's say we don't want to say that he's david we can go ahead and delete the specific part and now it's going to just jump from hey nice to meet you i'm the co-founder of submagic and it doesn't just mute him for that specific part it literally deletes that part of the clip where he's saying it and that way if you guys have a very long video and let's say you guys said something that you don't want to include in your guys's final version you can go ahead and delete it right over here. And as you guys are playing around with platform, I would highly recommend to check out the remove silences and remove bad takes features just because any awkward silences you may have, or if you guys say like in a lazy word, like uh, for example, you can remove those as well. And if you guys want to change the aspect ratio as well, all you got to do is click right over here and you can change it from nine to 16, four to five, one to one, or 16 to nine. And you can also modify the colors and like an image for you guys brand, change the audio cover or add some aspects of AI to it as well. Now up next, let's discover one of the most magic features, no pun intended, that the platform has to offer. And in my opinion, by far, it's going to be the B-roll feature. So by this point, when we're in the B-roll stage, we've probably trimmed the video, we've added our captions, and we're going to be ready to add any type of B-roll we want to the video. Alrighty, now with a click of a button, literally, we can just click on magic B-roll. We can select what percentage of the video we want the B-roll to be in. So depending on what video you guys are doing, let's say if you guys are sharing screen and you guys are explaining how to do something, maybe that's not the best place to add a lot of B-roll, but let's say you're just talking to the camera that could be the best place that kind of determines what percentage of b-roll you guys want to have so i'll just go ahead and show you guys with different percentages but let's go ahead and start with 50 percent and you can either have premium videos be part of your guys b-roll or the free videos so if i go ahead and generate with free videos let's see how it looks like so as you guys see the video has been divided in multiple parts and you have timestamps right over here so if i go ahead and play it from here we can see that this is where they're actually adding that b-roll and then it's going to be another part of the b-roll you guys kind of get the point so as you guys see the parts that are going to be grayed out here there's no b-roll associated with it and then the parts there is going to be like a little orange thing right over here or a little transition that's where you're going to get that b-roll so one more time the orange infinity sign looking thing is going to be the transition between the two clips and then whatever's here in the middle that's going to be you guys b-roll and if you want to add it for a specific clip all you got to do is just go to plus here add b-roll and boom you can go ahead and search free videos depending on what you're looking for and you can find it on there and boom there you guys have it so now we've successfully added b-roll to our videos we've added the captions and we've trimmed our video up and if 
you want to make it even fancier, you can even add different zoom ins when it comes to your guys' video. So right next to the B-roll option here, we can go to magic zooms and boom. Once you guys are ready and your video is going to be set in stone, all we got to do is just press export here. We can export it in different FPSs. So it can be 30 or 60, depending on the plan you guys have, as well as the quality where you can have it be 1080p, 2K or 4K. But again, that does depend on what plan you guys have. And if you guys are on the free plan, you will have a watermark, but you could remove it if you do upgrade to the professional plan. But if I was in your guys' shoes, what I suggest is to simply play around with the platform, see if it's going to be a good fit for you guys. And once you guys are confident that this is what you're looking for, then you can always upgrade from there. And the best part is that you can use it for practically any platform, ranging from LinkedIn to Instagram to TikTok to even YouTube Shorts. You can use it for pretty much every platform out there. And that way, editing the videos and getting them onto the platforms is going to be much more straightforward because you're going to save a lot of times with the modern AI systems. And one more thing to keep in mind of all of you guys' projects are going to be listed here under the projects tab. And if you guys want to get more saucy with it, you can always go to the integrations tab here and check out different workflows that exist. And that way, organizing and uploading you guys' projects will be that much easier. Is Submagic really worth it? My opinion is an absolute yes. Submagic is one of those tools that makes the processes that creators hate doing, like adding captions one by one, a lot more smoother. It automatically does many different tasks for you. And that way, you're going to save a lot of time on your guys' edits. And honestly, in this day and age, editing is one of the reasons why people just cannot be consistent with their posting schedule. So if you have a platform that makes it easier for you guys, it's going to be a win-win because we all know that feeling when you're just spending hours and days in Premiere Pro and you just seems like you're not going anywhere. And even though you could get something that's going to be highly polished after Premiere Pro, it could have taken you 10 times longer to do it rather than you have done it in Submagic. And once you get into the rhythm, Submagic just becomes second nature. You upload, you edit, you add captions, add B-roll, and boom, you're going to be ready to rock. So if you guys do want to check out the platform for yourself, the link for it is going to be down below in the description. And if you found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this as it tremendously helps support the channel. Till next time, peace.